diplomatic in there with, with uh, Big John, but now that you've had a half hour or so to think about it, are you going to ask for a rematch straight away on this thing? Hey man, I'm I'm the fighter. The the promoters will promote. Um, I mean, I think I think you're gonna see an overwhelming majority of the people that are gonna want to see a rematch. I think Bellator is probably gonna want to see a rematch. Of course, I want the rematch. You know, um, whether whether you're in the camp that you think it was an early stoppage or not. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna sit up here and and rant and rave about all of that. You know, you could have had 10,000 different refs in there and, and had it go 10,000 different ways um, or on the other side. So, uh, you know, for me, I'm just going to uh, – we're going to get back. I mean, I got, I'm surrounded by the, the, the best people in the entire world, and we're going we're gonna to get back. We're going we're gonna to lick our wounds. We're going to go back to the drawing board. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, the sun's still going to rise in the morning, and uh, I'm still going to praise him, and, and, and life is going to be good. And Patricio Pitbull will step back in the cage with me. It just depends on when. Obviously, the, the bad blood was there, and he was – Celebrating pretty hard immediately afterwards, but then he did come over to you. He, you know, put his hand around your neck, and I just wondered what maybe he said to you and what that moment was like. I, the history of you guys. You know, and and that's one thing too. And 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 these, this is one of those moments. Whether 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 I've said what I've said about him or not, or he said what he has said about me, the goodness of the human spirit was also shown in that moment. He came over, ticked off, ready to spit, cuss, point. You know, ready to ready to really kind of get after it, and then all of a sudden, you saw it hit him, and he, and he came in more like a sportsman. You know, he it almost it was as if and then Patricky was Patricky was screaming more than anybody, like you know his his brother even before the fight. But then, so he came in, he came in hot, like he was about to say something like "I told you so" type type of you know in your face type of thing, and uh, the human spirit took over right there, and he actually came up and you know said. Congrats, which is much easier to do when you win. <laughs> so I've done it a thousand times. So. Um, no, man. I mean, like like I said, yeah. Do I dislike the guy in, in a lot of senses? Absolutely. But this is a fight, and and it's like I said, this is this is a game of of inches, a game of chance. I've had numerous fights where a lot of people thought it could have been an early, you know, there was an early stoppage. It, it happens. These these fights happen, and and we were on our way to probably giving Bellator uh, one of the greatest fights in Bellator history. Um, and I was about to get up, and I was about to I was about to rally, and I was about to come back, and I was about to put the pressure on him, just like I do in every single one of my fights. I just didn't get that opportunity, and um, you know, Bellator. Bellator feels it. They would have wanted to see it. Um, I wanted to see it. Uh, Patricia Pipple obviously didn't want to see it, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens next. Did the referee say anything to you at all? I saw you guys kind of look at each other. No, he stuck his head in the sand and ran. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I mean, it's as as I you know heard him. He and of course his job is to to tell the fighter that they were out when they were out, you know, just to, to cover his bases. And as I looked at him, just like my teammate Robbie Lawler did a couple couple weeks ago, looked at her and Herb Dean, greatest greatest referee in the entire world, you know, and, and, and these kinds of things happen. Um, but I looked at him as I was getting up, as I was, you know, it's, it is unfortunate, um, but it's, this is the fight game. Can you walk us through that sequence when he knocked you down? Yeah, I threw a I threw a jab, um, a uh, off off the center line jab, and he he was able to come over top, hit me in the back, you know, back of the head, put me to my butt. As as you can see, I was completely fine there, and then kind of rolled over. I had my hands here. Um, I mean, as in you know, may, maybe it's maybe it's uh, my fault for not uh, not wrestling fast enough, you know. But a lot of times, I put myself in, in positions. You call it call it a shrimp, call it shelling up, call it what you want. You know, I, I know I've been on the other side of that and thrown a thousand punches against a Benson Henderson or a guy who who is extremely durable. I punch myself out, and before you know it, he's huffing and puffing, and I can come back. It's kind of what I was doing. Um, little game of possum, little game of you know whatever. Um, did I get hit? Absolutely. Uh -huh. But was I out? Absolutely not. So it's one of those things where we uh, we enjoy the fight game and we love it for its blessings and we we love it for its curses as well. Given the circumstances. You seem to be taking this loss pretty well. You're, you're smiling, you're laughing a bit. Can you talk about why that's the case? I've always said, and it sounds so cliche, but this this is not this sport does not define me. This sport is is not who I am. Mixed mar I am not a mixed martial arts fighter. That's 
10, 10, 10 rungs on the down on the on, on totem pole. I want to be a great father. I want to be a great husband. I want to be a great man. And I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning, and my son's gonna look at me like the like the greatest fighter in the world. And it doesn't matter that his dad got, you know, lost a fight. You know, it, it does. That stuff does not matter. It's not going to matter to him. Of course, does it matter for for my legacy? Does it matter to, for my world rankings? Do do me and my closest of, of friends and in, in Ken and management, we're sitting back and the what ifs and this, that, and the other. Of course, but the this is you cannot have great comeback stories without setbacks like this. I mean, I haven't lost a legitimate fight aside aside from the injury with Brent Primus. So this is I was going on five years without losing. You know, this is this is. My career. This is this is. I've I've lost before. I've I've come back from losses before. I've I will not let this. I will not make the same mistakes I did after my my first loss back when I lost to Eddie and the subsequent two losses after that when I lost it mentally. I'm now going to come back hungrier, a more mature, more spiritually, more spiritually sound, more mentally sound, more physically sound man. And if it's Patricio Pitbull that I step into the cage with next, it's going to be a, a good night. He wasn't. Now he's uh, he's a he's a little baby man. He's, he was sleeping about three hours ago. Uh, but you no, know, honestly, I think that's all. That's one of the hard things too, because I would love for him to be there, but I don't want to put that on my wife either. Like it's, she's watching her husband in a cage fight another man who wants to rip his head off. Yet she has to worry about the kid. You know, so we'll see. We're we're gonna navigate that over the next couple of fights and years, and we'll see what happens. I guess the plan now is to take a bit of time off and sort of re reevaluate. Yeah, you know, we'll see. I mean, I've I've got the I've got the best management in the entire world. They they Dave Martin, Randall Allman, these guys love me. They love me for me. They 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 want to see what is best for me. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's best for me as a as a you know as a as a human being as a man. We're gonna see you see what happens. I think we're gonna we're gonna look for a, a rematch right away. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm gonna take a little bit of time off. I'm gonna enjoy my my family, enjoy the the uh, the fruits of my hard work. Yes, did I. Did I get the win tonight? No, but I still worked extremely hard and, and have spent time away from the family that loves me dearly, and I, I need to give back to them. Any chance we see you in the featherweight tournament? <laughs> man, I would love to. I would love to be able to say that I can make 145, but it's uh, that's not in the cards, man. One, one, 155, I'm making. I'm making ease, easily because of 12 weeks of discipline. So I'd need to shrink and lose about actually like 17.4 pounds of muscle. I've already I've already done all the calculations and all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to do that. I'll be I will be a smaller, too small. Would you like to obviously I think someone was explaining earlier it's 90 days mandatory for sparring after mm -hmm. knockout. Um, whether it was a knockout or not, I suppose you can debate with the medical people. Yeah, that was interesting too. They yeah. they ruled it a knockout, which is Yeah, so it may be you know, you, you may be able to get that rescinded or whatever if yeah. you feel or whatever. So um would you like to rematch in August then as soon as possible if you're gonna get the rematch? No. I mean I don't I don't, we'll see, you know, we'll see what, what the timeline is. What is it? May. So June, July, August. No, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to act like I didn't get hit tonight. I got hit, you know, um, should the fight have been stopped? Absolutely not. But I'm, I'm a smart enough man to realize that, you know, I got to take care of myself because like I said, number one goal is father, husband, man. And if I can't be those things down the, down the line, this, this sports, a, a bunch of, a bunch of, you know, it's a big dog and pony show compared to, to what, um, what's really important in life. So I got to take care of myself, make sure I'm, make sure I'm good. I just chugged two, uh, cover, cover three brain supplements back there. Uh, so, you know, take care of the body and we'll, uh, we'll see what's next. Do you foresee the bad blood between you and the Pitbull brothers coming to an end now? <sighs> no, no. I mean, I, you know, probably not. I mean, there are, here, here's what I will say. If the roles were reversed tonight and I would have done this to him, the bad bud would have shot through the roof because he would have said, I want the rematch. I was, it was stopped too soon, blah, 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 blah. I'm not that man. I, I, I want to, I want the rematch. I want the belt back. I've been the champion here now, the majority of my career, the only three time Bellator champion. Now I just get an opportunity to be the four time Bellator champion. You know, well, let's, uh, let's run it back. Let's grab that belt back and let's, uh, let's see what happens in the future. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah. I mean, well, especially given it, it's hard because, yes, you have to 
this is a sport in which we have to save ourselves from ourselves. Referees are put in there to save ourselves, save the fighters from themselves. Um, so it's it's a little bit unfair for me to say, you know, hey, if I get, I have a, the, I have so much confidence in my heart that I could be completely out and I'm going to come back and I'm still believing that I'm going to come and, and win the fight, no matter who it is. Um, so... Yes, I'm in that camp. I think I think the referee and we we won't even talk about the referee. I didn't know who the referee was. I, I know I saw Mike Beltran out there, phenomenal referee. I saw a couple other very experienced guys, you know, um, but I had never heard of this ref or seen this ref. And but it's one of those things we got to keep going. He's very experienced on a local level. He's a Chicago ref. Good local level. It's good. If Patricio vacates the belt, would you be disappointed at all if you fight for the belt again? It's not him. Um. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, I guess he could just vacate and, and, and run back down and, and not have to fight me, which that could possibly happen. But I mean, really, I mean, it's it's about, yes, of, of course, it's about avenging the loss, but I will not lose. I'm not going to lose sleep over Patricio Pitbull. I know that that's not, that doesn't sound like realistic, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm not going to lose sleep over this fight. I'm not going to, you know, of course I wanted to win, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens if he vacates and he bounces out we'll uh we'll see what's next if bellator puts me in the the number one contender spot or they have me in the title fight we'll see so the belt is more important. um just winning my next fight's the most important honestly you know and that's and that's what i've kind of touched on in the past too it's what i've realized now over the last you know i've been fighting for almost 10 years now just to be fighting at this level just to be competing at this level just to look down on my body and not have replacements and and PRPs and and stem cells and all these kind of like crazy things like my my body is held up extremely well and I'm not a bionic knees or any of that kind of stuff and just to be competing at this level um, and still performing at a high level I'm st I still truly believe I was the best fighter I've ever been tonight stepping into that cage just got um, you know a set of circumstances that that ensued um, I just every single opportunity to step into a cage is is awesome now so how much has your I think the the biggest thing is is remembering exactly who you are. The 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 problem I made when I lost that first fight, I went from 12 and 0 with, you know, 10 10 finishes, 9 in the first round to losing a fight and all of a sudden my mental I all of a sudden I told myself that I wasn't that good. I'm still just as good right now having lost this fight the moment as the moment I stepped into the cage tonight and I will continue to get better. Continuing to realize it's just a maturation process that when we have these setbacks in life, these setbacks are necessary so we can keep on failing forward, so we can keep on having these, having these, you know, these failures and keep having, whether it's on a big stage like this or whether it's within your community, whether it's within your organization, whether it's, with, whether it's within your family, we all have these setbacks and the way that we, the way that we, we, that we respond to these setbacks instead of just reacting to them we respond in a positive manner in a way that we can continue to move forward life is good and i will continue to move forward from this and uh you're gonna see the best michael chandler moving forward